Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's my pleasure. It's always my honor to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That's why I want to speak to you concerning the treasure house that is within you and how to tap into that treasure house that is within you. And that was what Abdullah the Black Mystic from Ethiopia would have taught Neville Gallen and Joseph Murphy. And we know Joseph Murphy speak a lot and the subconscious mind and how to tap into that treasure house that is within you. But before you can really tap into that treasure house that is within you to discover the power of great price, you have to definitely change your belief system. Now, there are many people who believe in the Bible as being literal and as secular history. But I want to say to you that the Bible is all mental or psychological. Thus, the reason why I teach that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. And this was the key that Abdullah used to teach Joseph Murphy and never got it to tap in to their higher self and prove that the kingdom of God is within man. So when we look around and we see all of these people who are living in what is referred to as third world country, we see that they have no concept at all concerning the treasure house that is within themselves. And the reason for that is because they believe most of the time of a God outside of themselves and they're looking to the sky and believe that God is a man in the sky. And most of the time they believe in Jesus, Jesus, a blue eyed blonde hair idol that was given to them to believe because the colonial masters our slave masters would have enforced such a belief system upon them through violence and many other ill things that was done to them and so here we see abdullah the black mystic from ethiopia in his infinite wisdom he had to go back to the source to show us cause and effect. And so even until when we look at uh, Neville Goddard and we look at Joseph Murphy, we see Neville grew up in the Caribbean and we see Joseph Murphy was from like, I think, Ireland. I think he's an Irishman. Okay. And we can put some things together there and come up with certain things and see why Abdullah did what he did. And even recently in a other video, I would have proved to you from Neville Gallard's family where they said that they would have owned slaves, okay? And that is why it is very, very important for us to understand that there is a treasure house in each and every one of us but we have to change our belief system to tap in to that treasure house. And that is why I just want to remind you that everything that you depend upon, upon in this earth for survival that was invented, okay? It was for us a thought. It was for us an idea. It was for us imagine. And these things that have been invented, they were not, never invented by a religious mind. They were never invented by, by Christians. Okay, they were invented by men and women who believe in themselves and believe in the God power and believe in the treasure house of abundance and wealth that is within themselves. So, my brother and my sisters, just as Abdullah would have taught, Neville Gallant and Joseph Murphy to tap into the treasure house, that is within themselves. So I'm saying to you to tap in to that treasure house by first of all loving yourself and believing yourself and also denying all form of idolatry and start believe in a God outside of yourself and believe in the God that is within you. 
because the power is within you. The power to create is within you. For it is your own thoughts that is creating your personality and creating your reality. As you know, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you want to change your, your life, you have to change your thinking. You have to change the perception that you hold about yourself and start to believe in your higher self, which is your God self, to be able to create your reality consciously. So I want to say to you that you can be all that you want to be and you can have all that you desire to have in this world if you know who you are and if you apply that power to achieve your every desire in your life okay now when you realize that there's an inner world and an outer world then you will realize that that treasure house that is within you is the wall of the invisible and you must tap into the wall of the invisible in order to express the things that you so desire in the visible cheaty world Therefore, you must think four dimensionally, okay? And you must have the right concept of who you are. And that is why I always teach you that your real identity is your divinity. You see, there are certain things that I might say, okay, that I may refer to people who look like me. And I do it purposely because I know where I, where I came from and I know how the people who look like me, how they think because of how they were thought and I know what it used to be like for me and that is why I always take the pleasure to share my message in a way that I highlight certain things and fail to compromise to speak the truth okay and I'm saying to you that the truth is within you and until you tap in to your true self you'll never be able to discover or locate the treasure house that is within you so i'm saying all wealth is within you everything is within you for everything exists in the human imagination for god in man is man's imagination and the eternal body of man is the imagination and that is god himself there is no other god there's no god outside of you god is not a man in the sky god is that creative power that is in you and you must use that creative power to achieve your every desire by understanding how the conscious and the subconscious mind works. And when you come to realize that whatever you impress upon your subconscious mind, that is what you would receive in this three-dimensional world, then you would realize that you are the one who is doing everything that is happening in your life and that there is no one to change but yourself and there's no one to blame but yourself and that is why Abdullah would have taught Neville Garland and taught Joseph Murphy this key to point us to look inwardly to discover that our real identity is our divinity and to tap in to that storehouse okay that is within that can give us everything that we so desire so, my brother and my sisters, all I'm saying to you is to tap into your creative self, tap into your higher self, your God self, and use the knowledge of consciousness to create your reality consciously. Use the knowledge or the awareness of being to create your reality consciously. Okay, so that's just a short word of encouragement to you to look within and to tap into the source of all wealth, to tap into the source of all health, to tap in to the source that creates everything. And that source that creates everything is the very life that is within you. Okay? And so when you tap in to that life that is within you and you live from within, that which you impress within on the subconscious mind would be your result.
So my brother and my sisters, if you want to change your results in life, all you have to do is change your thinking, change your mind, change the, the concept that you hold about yourself, hold the concept that you change about the world, and change the concept that you hold about everyone. Because you must come to realize that everyone that you see is your own self being pushed out. They're just different version of yourself. So the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief is just one mind, but different arrangement of the same mind. So my encouragement to you is to rearrange your mind in order to tap in to that storehouse of abundance that is within you, to tap in to that storehouse that can give you all of your desire. So my brother and my sisters, you have the power of choice. You are the apparent power. You are the one who decides where you go from here. And I'm saying to you, it's simple. All you have to do is just change your thinking and everything else would change. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I just want to you know, encourage you to be strong. I want to encourage you to believe in yourself. I want to encourage you to practice meditation in your life, practice visualization, practice scripting, practice uh, affirmation, you know, practice it. Uh, all of these things in your life that will help to empower you and help to put you in the right alignment with the rest of nature because we see all of nature is in its rightful purpose and we are the only one who's out of alignment and most of the time we are out of alignment because we are looking without instead of looking within and i'm saying to you look within because the answers of life that you're seeking for they are all within you and you have a storehouse of abundance that is locked up within you locate that storehouse of abundance and you will discover why it is said in matthew 6 33 that when you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, when you discover the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that you will also discover the secret of creation and you'll be able to create your reality consciously. That's why it says that all these things that you should desire in this life, they will be added unto you because you will know how to create them because you understand that everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. Therefore, you get an the right vibrational frequency, but it must be done mentally okay so fix your mind and you'll be able to fix your life so with that being said my brother and my sister i want to thank you very much i want to say to you if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what i'm saying it really makes sense to you and it's really resonating with you i would like to say to you if you haven't subscribed already to subscribe to like to comment or to share this video also i would like to encourage you to follow me on instagram at black Mad guru and also, if you haven't checked out my courses yet, I'm encouraged you to check out my course. It's the Inner Sun Science and Technology, or the Inner Sun Engineering to create your reality consciously. Also, if you would like to donate to this work, we have a paper down below, and you can always check out the information, all the information down below for you. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.